Hantavirus is a rare but dangerous virus carried by rodents such as rats, deer mice, and other small mammals. It is transmitted to humans primarily through inhalation of particles contaminated with the virus from rodent urine, droppings, or saliva. This virus is notorious for causing two main syndromes, Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, which is most common in the Americas and leads to severe respiratory distress that can progress rapidly to respiratory failure, and hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome, seen mainly in Europe and Asia, which affects the kidneys and can result in significant internal bleeding and shock. The onset of hantavirus infection often begins with flu-like symptoms such as fever chills, muscle aches, headache, and dizziness. But as the disease progresses, symptoms can escalate to include a dry cough shortness of breath and rapid breathing, turning the condition into a life-threatening emergency if not treated promptly. In this section, we're going to dive into the causes, treatment, and prevention of hantavirus. The exact causes of hantavirus infection are linked to exposure to environments where infected rodents live, especially in rural or semi-urban areas where rodent populations are not adequately controlled. There is no specific antiviral treatment for hantavirus. Instead, treatment is largely supportive and focuses on managing symptoms. This often includes oxygen therapy, mechanical ventilation if necessary, and other intensive care measures to stabilize the patient while their body fights off the infection. Preventive measures remain the best defense, ensuring that homes and living areas are sealed against rodent entry, using proper techniques to clean and disinfect areas contaminated with rodent droppings, and raising public awareness about the risks associated with rodent infestations. The real-life impact of hantavirus cannot be overstated. Families and communities have been deeply affected, and the importance of awareness and prevention has never been clearer. By understanding the risks, taking preventive measures, and spreading knowledge, we can collectively reduce the threat posed by this dangerous virus. Tragically, the impact of this virus is not just theoretical. Cases like that of Betsy Hackman have brought the reality of hantavirus to public attention. Betsy Hackman's death was linked to hantavirus infection, likely acquired after she was unknowingly exposed to environments with high rodent activity. Her untimely passing served as a sobering reminder that even limited exposure to infected rodents can lead to severe and fatal outcomes. This case has galvanized public health efforts to improve rodent control and educate communities on the risks of hantavirus exposure. It underscores the importance of early detection and immediate supportive care, which are critical to increasing the chances of survival in the absence of a specific cure. As we continue to learn more about hantavirus, its causes, symptoms, and current treatment options, it is clear that prevention and public awareness are key to minimizing risk. Whether you live in an area prone to rodent infestations or simply want to safeguard your home, taking the necessary precautions can help protect you and your loved ones from this dangerous disease. Thank you for watching this comprehensive update on hantavirus. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more health, science, and wellness insights.